begins mano a mano. All right, fellas, here we go. Down together. Do it right. Good. Justin Shockey for Maryland, Petey LaSalle for Virginia. And the Cavaliers control the opening faceoff. Sports awful in this NCAA tournament. 0 for 5. On the next side. 24 Cormier has been a big threat with the man up. He's hanging down near the crease. We get another flag. Ian Laviano has his shot saved. Yeah, and he needs to run the field because. Virginia can answer now. The guys like Grayson Soliday, those are question marks for the Cavaliers earlier in the season. Now they're becoming answers. There's Kyle Long, the dangerous passer, as a midfielder. Plays it behind. Daniel Moltz, the first goal of this NCAA championship. This is a big deal for Maryland. Six offensive players. There's one guy who primarily plays in the inside. Everyone else is interchangeable. That guy is Daniel Moats, 37 and white. This time he plays the perimeter. Starts with Kyle Long, who's an exceptional dodger. He got Bernhardt behind Long up top. They put Moats in space against his short stick. And he takes advantage and feasts. That's Moats, isn't but you gotta cut those angles with Masala. Petey Lasala wins the faceoff. Over to Matt Moore, a rocket! And Matt Moore gets Virginia even at one. Petey Lasala points off the faceoff. It's not just that he wins possessions, he can generate offense. Tell you, this guy takes it out the front side. He's off to the races. He's a terrific athlete. I think he's got to dominate this game for Virginia to win. I think he's got to be about plus eight in the faceoff department. Moore absolutely slings it. That is good news for the Cavaliers because even in warm-ups, he, he has been Jared Bernhardt's new man. A soft-spoken senior. He began his career at Syracuse. Red shirted there, then transferred to Maryland, and he's gotten better every year. Kyle Long again, streaking toward the cage! And Long with a hand in Maryland's first two goals. We spoke to him yesterday. He told us he remembers that quarterfinal in 2019. Quinn, you talk about Bernhardt's speed. How about Kyle Longs? He's got the Jets Q. He's a catalyst for these Terps. He comes off the bench and gets things done. So many times this season, it's Kyle Long from Springfield, Pennsylvania. No double, he makes him pay. He was as an assistant back in 2004 for Navy. Good. Osala wins it forward for Virginia. Two in the cage. He shoots and scores. Petey Osala, an assist and a goal for Virginia. Not to get bogged down with the advanced statistics. But our friends at Max Reference came up with a statistic for expected goals added. Osala is number one in the country. Dealing with the pressure, the point man, 43 in white. Brett Maycar is a little slow on the scene. We've seen Petey do this all season long. He's a bowling ball running downhill. You must respect 23 and blue. He his career for UVA. Good matchup for Schellenberger. He's got the short stick coffee. Schellenberger gets free. McNeeny denies the angle. Should have taken an extra step there. He had the separation. There was no double team. Schellenberger could have canned that. There's Maltz. Now Bernhardt has his man hung up. Feeding the cutting Kaufman. 3-2 Maryland.
it's a game of millimeters. When you're a goaltender, you're always looking for perfection. You're living on that edge between failure and success. A game of millimeters. Doink off the post. At the other end, McDaney stands tall. The lefty shuts the door. And Maryland scores in early offense. Joshua. Here's Wisnowskis, nicknamed Groot. Does not say a whole lot. Long, a goal and an assist, and now Bernhardt from up top against the short stick, Merle. They get it back to Bernhardt. Moving, Swift as a Kyle, shadow. Bernhardt feeds Wisnowskis. Back shot, the score! Rips it. So much attention when one in white has the ball. Virginia knows it's red alert, it's double time. Who's supporting this matchup? Well, he's flanked by some pretty good goal scorers. You see the adjacent slide by Kologi leaves Logan Wisnowskis in his comfort zone. This is his money spot. This team shoots 40% for a reason. Bernhardt draws all sorts of double teams. They have the defended him well. Aiken gets the pick. Maryland doing a good job off those double teams of covering up. Here comes Connor. But Lacey sends him back to the end line. Connor will dodge on Puglisi again. How about the defense by Roman Puglisi, one of the best short stick defensive midfielders in the country. He's a rock. Jeff Connor, and that one slipped in. Eventually, he gets an edge on Puglisi, but not much from a severe angle, although he's tight to the net, Paul. He's about seven yards. And watch this ricochet off the goaltender. He said a dangerous outlet passer. He has to get it across midfield before that clock hits 60. Maycar shovels it forward, and there's the Virginia ride with the turnover. Schellenberger the other way to Moore. Thought about it, back to Schellenberger, step! Laviano's worth his weight in gold. The 10 man ride across this version of the full court press. Alex Rode, the goalie, comes out of the net and they roll up field. It's man to man all over the field. And look at Laviano, three and blue, go to work. Gets the ball on the carpet. Maycar panics. Ball comes up. Cavs, they're off to the races. Moore knows he's got the best shooter on the team. Connor Schellenberger. Plants his feet. Shell you later. Doc Saken feeding inside to Peyton Cormier, the Oakville Ox. was a high school option quarterback. Calls his own number, clearly in the crease. You know, if you look at Doc Aiken in the maturation of his game, it's the passing. Cash 
Lesnar checks it loose. Thundering downfield, Cole Kastner all the way, shoots and scores! And the Virginia bench erupts! How many teams, Quint, can unearth a future first-team All-American in the late stages of the season? Tell you this defense, Jurassic Park, 6'7", 6'5", 6'4". Digging in, winning some matchups. Ball on the carpet. Take off and get out. They uh, run. That was Jared Connors. They run through D to O. It's Connors, the National Mini of the Year. Pump fake to the point man. And Carton, the kid doesn't miss. It's unbelievable. There's only two long stick mid. NCAA postseason coverage continues in Oklahoma City. It's the Women's College World Series. It all begins Thursday, June 3rd at noon Eastern on ESPN2. For more information on all the NCAA championships, visit NCAA.com, your home for all 90 NCAA championships. Schellenberger, his second. Wow, he is mobbed by his teammates. That's reps, man. Picked up a stick when he was one years old. Father Scott fueled his passion. He never played lacrosse. He was a golfer at Marshall. 200, 300 balls a day. Righty, lefty, in the backyard. Finding a field to hone his craft, and this is why. Look at the accuracy on that. That is amazing on a lefty goalie, Quint. Old hidden ball trick. He's calling the other guy now taken. This is the long dive that Lars Tiffany talked about. Making the shot altered by Alex Smith, What's part that? of that armada of D middies that Maryland rolls out. The long dive starts up top from 20 or plus yards. It really gives the ball handler a, a, a time to see the double team evolve. More bouncer. Connor! The run continues. That's six in a row for Virginia. Turks on their heels. Tillman eyeing up the big board. What happened? It's not on the iPad. It's an effort deal right now. Maryland's a little flat-footed, Paul. Standing around like Holmes. They are, and Virginia's got the sharpshooters. McNaney is a lefty. Look at the placement on the last two shots. Schellenberger hit that near pipe. And then this time on the opposite side of the offensive zone, it's far. Six. Osala and Weirman again. A big face-off win for Maryland. Bernhardt fires and scores. There is a steely cold efficiency to Jared Bernhardt's game. 20 and White Geppert talked about him earlier. I think he's a, a future pro player in Premier Lacrosse League. His game continues to grow. And there's Bernhardt. Mid-range excellence. He ices it. And Geppert now has two huge plays in transition for the Terps. They need 20 to be that answer. Connors for Virginia has been able to strike from end to end. The matchup between Connors and Gepper. Well, now you've got the street pick. I like Carmine's cuts. Carmine's cuts. Anisha's Anisha's head only. Was, that was a real tough job because it was a makeover. It wasn't just like your typical, okay, visit to the barbershop, same style. It was a makeover. I needed a weed whacker. You did good, buddy. You did good. Thank you. Here we go. Fairman rolls back. Nothing there. I love that timeout. There's Bernhardt, he scores again. Indomitable, invincible. A one-man wrecking crew this season. You can see the impact of the timeout that Coach Tiffany took, and it looked like things were going well. They had their legs, they were defending on the perimeter. 
but Bernhardt has done it once again. Off ball, he continues to move, he presents a target, and a strike is delivered. It's the little subtleties, Quinn. Everyone knows Bernhardt around the perimeter. He's lethal with the speed. But off ball, Soliday turns his head for a fraction of a second. Bye-bye. The last team uh, to go undefeated. Virginia in 2006. Maryland looking to do the same. Brown on the doorstep. Cashes in. Three straight for the Terps. Terp Nation's feeling it. We hear you. He's panicked. Griffin Brown has a lot of lacrosse experience. And it shows. Big time scorer from Colgate. Knows how to play away from the ball. Known as an outside shooter. But like Bernhardt, is crafty and nifty inside. Tiptoes the crease area. That was close. Super close as the second midfield continues to shine in the postseason. Great body control. The crease is a nine foot radius. Offensive players are not allowed in. You're not allowed to step on the line either. Three goals in three minutes. That will count. That counts. That counts. What a That's play. good. What? Came off the bench as the third face off guy. And it provided a spark for Maryland in their championship run. He was the unsung hero. Merle, the big check, jars it loose. Up ahead, there's Connors, one goal already today. Looking for Cormier. Glide, right? It looks effortless when they approach the defense, right? It's soft on their feet. They glide, they get to top side of these. The difference between Powell and Bernhardt. Powell had a little more creativity in his game, but from a lethal dodging one-on-one -on -one standpoint, it's there, man. Bernhardt is ridiculous. He's an all-time great dodging attackman, hands down. Freshman in the country, number one recruit out of high school, red-shirted last year. Why? He and Lars Tiffany agreed on it, and Virginia felt it had so much depth they could afford to redshirt Schellenberger. Schellenberger to Cormier. He's from Canada. Great hands, great and tight quarters. Big body helps as well. You draw that up to perfection. Clock and game management. They drain the clock. Pick set for Schellenberger. Brill stays with him, but Cormier with the well-timed cut. He's being covered by a midfield defender. The Oakville Ox, just too big, Clark. This guy goes 6'3", 200 pounds. What a combination. Schellenberger, one in blue, Cormier. Against Duke on Saturday, that ball was moving so quickly, so crisply. He wants to see that as part of their offense in the second half. And then defensively, getting back in transition. Too many opportunities for Virginia to hit from defense to offense. Luke Weirman's play, a big bonus for Virginia in that first half. He's won 7 of 12 faceoffs. Wisnowskis against Kyle Kologi. Logan Wisnowskis wins the matchup. It's 9-8. Every time you try to label Logan Wisnowskis a uh, feet set mid-range shooter from the left wing, he unveils a layer to his game. Able to run downhill, shield. 11 for Virginia, 9 for Maryland. Maryland is right in the vicinity of 50%. That bodes well for the Terps. Big discussion on the far sideline between the official and the Maryland coaching staff asking for some clarification. Standing neutral grip. The ball, you have to make a move on the ball, and the ball must be raked out. The word is immediately. How about the individual effort by Doc Sakin? Where's Docs? Well, he's showing up in East Hartford. First half, he dissected the Maryland defense, felt the pressure in a slide, became a passer. 
This time around, no slide, it's pay dirt for Dox. If you watch the way he sets up his Dox here, quick left to right, losing his angle, and then goes back to the left, because by going back to the left, that gives him the better angle to beat McNaney. The most productive midfielder in Virginia lacrosse history, playing in his last game. That's game 77, a long ride. Four years away, he flirted with playing football at Villanova. He's back in your wingers. They're able to run free, and they don't have a, an opponent on their hip. Aiken again, working on Joshua Kaufman. Matt Moore, out of Cormier. That's the matchup on Matt Rayhill. Cormier looking to dump it off. It comes back to Schellenberger. Good look here. Jeff Connor. A hat trick for Connor on the biggest stage. Quick, watch how fast Schellenberger picks this ball up and knows where the next man is. Cormier tries to shovel it inside the Laviano in one motion. Pick the ball up, pick the next man. Make the extra pass. This was a Virginia team early in the season playing hero ball on offense. They weren't sharing it. It was getting stagnant in sticks. Anthony DeMeo. Long, feeding the cutter. It's Wisnowskis. A hat trick for Groot. Ball movement. Watch how quick the ball's in and out of sticks. That's what we saw against Duke on Saturday. Ball moves at hyperspeed and the versatility of Wisnaskis who earlier created his own offense down the alley. Set. Another face-off won by Maryland. Here comes Puglisi. Puglisi cranks and scores! Goalie Alex Rhodes, a veteran. I thought the level change from Wisnowskis buckled him and handcuffed him. He didn't see this last shot as effectively as you'd like also. There's really no movement towards the ball. Alex Rhodes has played in a ton of lacrosse games and at an extremely high level. He's got to find himself right now. And he's got to organize this Virginia defense. His body language and posture is critical. He can't show signs of weakness right now. He just got to hit the reset button. They're daring Roman to shoot. Pugli. Heated on the benches. Referees made the right call. But John Tillman is not the fourth official on this crew, and he's got to stay on the sideline. Road out of the cage. He gets back in. It's too late. Logan Wisnowskis with his fourth. And a brand new ball game with 9 11 to go. Keep feeding him the rock. He's hot. You got to love the complimentary parts for Maryland. And in certain areas, they're elite. Logan Wisnowskis is an All-American. He's a lefty that can absolutely unload. In the variety of places he's doing it within the offensive set, this is the chameleon offense where everyone can play anywhere on this. One back-to-back -back titles in 2018 and 19. Xander Dixon, he's been an invert option for Virginia. Now Moore marked by Makar. Gets the pick from Dixon. Moore, skip pass to Garno. Firing the rocket!
Peter Garno from Matt Moore, Virginia back on top. That's a strong answer for the second midfield unit. Garno, a high level shooter with both hands. Man, he's got some velocity when he sets his feet. McNaney gets a piece, not enough. Gives so much credit to Matt Moore. He's playing hurt. Every time he shoots or passes, you see that left shoulder dragon. He is gunning it out. Staff's actually getting into it with each other. In what way? Fighting and arguing over calls and, and who's right, who's wrong. And then, you know, you say something to the official, you spark the animosity. It's just there's tension down there. It's called smack talking. In a year, I thought that sportsmanship has never been finer across the landscape from teams and from coaches who are thankful to play. Schellenberger inside roll, beating Grill. 13 11, Virginia. Connor Schellenberger has blossomed from a talented freshman and a productive player into a full-fledged superstar. Watch how he feels the pressure. This goal is defined by understanding where the slide comes from, using your shoulder, and hitting pay dirt. He gets grilled. Schellenberger has been magnificent. Both teams with four goals apiece in this third quarter. Lisi on Dixon. Skip pass to Moore. Thought about it. Good defense by Maycar. Moore gets it off and scores! Virginia has now scored on 12 of its last 15 shots. Oh, this shot's almost unstoppable. 100%. Another shot by a Cavalier offensive player that stings the opposite side pipe of the left-hander, McNaney. McNaney leaning towards the middle, and that ball is order team. I thought Virginia limped to the finish line in the semifinal way. Virginia did not score in the fourth quarter against North Carolina. Maryland rallied from 12-9 down against Notre Dame in the quarters. But one big factor here, Virginia has had more tight turnarounds than Maryland this season, and Virginia trains for this. They lift Sunday. Connor Schellenberger, a man on a mission. Four goals, two assists. Another six-point game for the redshirt freshman. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. He checks every single box. He plays in space. He hammers it from the outside. He rolls above goal line extended on the prior goal against Grill. So Grill's playing that a little bit behind, anticipating another roll. Both teams gassed, digging deep. The Sunday workouts for Virginia against the relentless approach. Turk Nation. Matt Moore with a good look and he scores! Virginia with its largest lead. It's 16-11. Extended possessions. Wearing down the defense with body punches. Road makes the stop with a one-handed shot. Looks like it glanced off his forehead. Virginia's ball in Matt Moore. Has been so good in terms of understanding the offense. Schellenberger gets the rebound. And it leads to this here. When Virginia clicks at another level, Matt Moore comes to the party. Look at their offensive production. When they explode, five in blue has such a big time. Hunter, the clock 
number one in white's got to be a factor on this possession. Bernhardt trying to get open. Kastner on DeMeo. Kastner all over DeMeo. The help from Connors. Wisnowskis. Top shelf and a flag. Five for Logan Wisnowskis. Quint, you can't paint it better. Look at the shot, man. DeMeo was flirting with disaster. Dancing in a double team. He's cornered. He's down on the turf. Somehow eludes. And then liquid smoke to the top shelf as a flag flies. The door is open for the Turks. Now the penalty on Virginia. So Maryland will go man up. First penalty on Virginia today. And now the Terps with an advantage facing off. Faceoff's almost even. And LaSalle wins it for Virginia. He retreats. Aaron pass. Bernhardt's got it. Beating inside. Tomas! The pendulum swings. It's the one more. Lars Tiffany feels a tough run. A lot like Schellenberger earlier. Ground ball immediately into a pass. Jared Bernhardt senses some disarray. Peter LaSalle tries to get the ball back to his defensive zone. It's a quick scoop. Hits the crease man. Danny Moss catches in. A simple exchange. Proves costly. Oliver the freshman to Bannon! And the Terps close to two. The lack of a timeout. Hurting Virginia right now. They used it to save a possession earlier. But the momentum has swung and they're down to one stoppage. You see that under Virginia. They only have one timeout left. The second midfield line has played super lacrosse in the playoffs. Poor defensive communication, Clark. And Maliver is the future quarterback of the Terps. He's on the second midfield, but they want him behind because that's where he's lived his entire life. Trained by the great John Zilberti, Syracuse legend in Atlanta. So skilled, so fundamental, and finds the KG. Shot. Long to get the passer. Road out of the cage. Bernhardt makes the catch. He goes down. It comes back to Long. Looking for Fairman. He can't hold on. Bubba able to get it back. Less than 20 to shoot. DeMeo down the alley. Back shot and a score. Four straight by the Terps. And this is turning into a classic. It's Tony Town. Wing play on the face-off. LaSala thinks he's in a good spot. He gets laid out. Turnover created by Schur, 17 and white. Look at this move. Anthony DeMeo feels the Virginia defense closing the top side middle of the field, so he dips it underneath. And a lot like that Notre Dame. Warriors got the grounder. For Virginia, can the Cavaliers clear and get an offensive possession? They had trouble in the fourth quarter against UNC. Peel goes down, flag goes up. Sawstead's got it for UVA, plays it to the wing, a shot, and a score! 
The fourth goal for Matt Moore. A little room to breathe for Virginia. This is something else. This is awesome. Ben Wayer's ground ball, running through traffic, securing the ball, and then finding an outlet. Flags down, it's a play on. Kate Sostead comes up with it, and dishes it. Look at the chaos that ensues. Chaos reigns supreme for the Cavaliers. That was the word that we knew. And Brown plays it to Fairman. 120 to go. Maltz. Back up to Wisnowskis. 11 seconds left on the man up. Wisnowskis is Virginia. Back to even strength. Fairman shot blocked. Koloji paid the price. Maryland still has it. Less than a minute to go. Terps down two. Wisnowski's his shot blocked. It'll be Maryland ball. 42 seconds to go. And. Here's Bernhardt, there's the pick. Bernhardt, left hand, road, the save! Now Virginia's got a clear. They'll fire one downfield on Cage, whose ball? It'll belong to Maryland, 26 seconds to go. McNaney to Puglisi, less than 20 seconds. Molliver has long. DeMeo steps in and scores! They're not dead yet! Tony time! Tay, there's no quit in this group. A masterful, absolutely masterful clear by Maryland. They don't waste any any time. Diagonal passes up the field. They continue to share it and not panic. Bernhardt is on the wing of the faceoff and a timeout by John Tillman. So before the timeout, Jared Bernhardt and Kyle Long, two short sticks on the faceoff wings. Merrick Connors and Jared Bernhardt. The presumptive Tawarton winner and the midfielder of the year at the top of your screen. Weirman punches it ahead, a chance for Maryland. Weirman all the way, shoots, save, road! Virginia's got it! The kid's name remains a tower of strength. The crown stays with Virginia. how it ended. Maryland needing the goal to tie. Virginia's defense stayed at home. Weirman, who was spectacular in the second half, takes that shot from about seven yards. And Rhodes, Rhodes, Alex Rode makes the body stop. Two-time NCAA champion. He's got two rings now. Just holds his ground and makes a late reaction and Virginia cleans it up.